So, it's been a while, I guess? So, here's to another episode of Real Talk, where I talked about something like from my heart and actually be honest with people. So, if you read the title or just saw the thumbnail, you know what I'm gonna talk about. And I'm pretty sure if you have a decent enough brain, or heck, like, haven't have this experience yourself, you, I'm pretty sure you know what stance I'm gonna take here. So, let's talk about this phrase. The phrase that I honestly hate, okay? Actually, no, uh, let me rephrase that. I kind of don't like this phrase like when people like say to me well no, no, not not say to me or like tell it to me directly because uh, that would be a different story i meant more like online when people just message me like direct chat to me or stuff like that do you take requests as in do you draw for free okay now stop and think about this moment okay so i can draw something like this right that takes me a few hours i think this took me like six hours or so and it took me quite a while uh, to like practice and get to this level. And somehow you want me to do this for you for free. I'm sorry, how, how does this logic work? Now, there are a few circumstances where this might make sense, where like asking a request would make sense. So let's say uh, you're a friend in real life and you ask me as in directly to me, hey, I really like the stuff you draw and like, can I ask you to draw something? And like, you're close with me and you're a friend of mine. And like, you ask me and like, sure, because like you're a friend and like, maybe like I want to do a favor with you or like, I know we're just being friends and we do do stuff for each other. And like, sure, I might do that because that's a favor. Or two, if you're still practicing and like people usually do this, they would just do this. They would post on their social media or what or whatsoever or on like uh, forums or whatnot. They'd say, I'm uh, accepting requests because I want to practice because they're still learning. They still want to draw stuff uh, like they don't have the basic down and they're thinking, uh, I don't think I'm ready enough to like offer commission. And so thus I will practice stuff for free. Sure, that works. But then this is where stuff gets really stupid and complete asinine when this happens. Like when legit on my social media or whatever, whatnot, my profile, my stream title and everything, I legit wrote down right there, commissions are open as in commission. Uh, actually, I actually did not know the formal definition of commission. Let me check it out. Aha, there we go. A fee paid to an agent or employee for transacting a piece of business or performing a service. Now, I've written already commissions as in a fee needed to be paid for this service that I'm providing. And you're asking me to like, can I get it for free? It's like you're walking into a store and say, hey, I want free stuff. Is it okay, Mr. Shop, attend shop tender or stuff like that? And like, just think for a second, does that even make sense? And you know, like the worst kind of people, in my opinion, actually, I'm not even sure this is, this should be opinion. I think it's like a fact in like, if you're drawing stuff or if you're do, doing anything, like, like if you like sort of like follow me or whatnot, and then you're trying to like, you've been following me for a while, or you're looking, you look up to someone and then you're asking like, Hey, can I get a request something? Like, I sort of understand, like, even though like, I, I, I still kind of don't like it. I'll try to like be polite and stuff like that. But like this, like the, the, the thing I'm going to talk about next is like, the one that I really don't get, and I really think, like, what is wrong with you? The stream server, or the, what do you call that? The random request explorer, like, what? So, here's the thing. A random guy, you don't know me, I don't know you. You come into my, like, live stream, usually, when I draw stuff live, on PR or whatever. You just barge in here, you don't know me, keep in mind, you are a stranger. I am a stranger to you. You are a stranger to me. I do not know you. And then you only ask, like legit, you came in, you just ask, do you take requests? And then I'm just like, what? Now here's the best part. I hate this because I've actually experienced this and I actually said yes once. And after I said that yes, and I did it, I regret it instantly. So here's the, here's the deal. When I say no, you just leave. And all of a sudden it doesn't even matter, right? You just come here. You're hoping to get a yes. I said no. Well, too bad. You left. End of story. And then if I say yes, by the way, like, uh, both like the no and yes situation is like the most common situation and will most probably happen. So keep, keep in mind that when I say yes, and then I actually do draw it, draw it and I say, okay, like, here's the top one I w want you to draw, please draw it. And then I finished it. And after I draw it and after I finished it, I, I show it to you, okay, I upload it and like show you here, 
here's the thing you want and then all of a sudden poof they're gone and then that's it and nothing not even a thank you so let me sum it up for you you this random person who randomly come into some stream or whatnot and ask me can i get a request i draw for you for free for your stuff and then you leave nothing happens i don't get anything I waste my time for you and period. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? You know, the worst of all, like the thing is not everyone has ha like has the time because like a lot of us, like some of us like are in college or in university. Some of us are like, we have a job. Some of us have like family. Some people even have like, some people even like make their living out of this. And there are people who pay them to draw stuff. And for some reason, you're just barging in and asking, can you draw for free? How does that make even an ounce of sense? And the worst part, and the worst part, like this is, this is like, if you, if you even do this, I, I do not get, because if you're doing this, then I have no idea why. It's thinking that you are entitled to have it. Like if you, if when I say no, you complain, like, what? This isn't supposed to turn out this way. Like, I, I just wanted to like express my feeling on this, these people. I, I don't want to say freeloader because they're, they're not exactly uh, leashing off of you directly. It's like, it only happens if you say yes. But as a person who like, I, I don't know, like new to this, like I wouldn't say too new because I've been drawing for like two and a half year, but I've noticed a lot since I've improved. A lot of people start, well, not a lot of people, like uh, a few people would just come to me, approach me and say, hey, can I draw the, can I ask you to draw this for free? I'm like, no, like. I want to try to be polite all the time, but please, like, this is getting annoying and stupid because, again, I already stated, I do commissions, and yet people still come in, like, say, can I do requests? Like, no, no, if I, if, if I would do requests, I would post it on my social media, I'd say, yes, I do requests right now, so please, like, come in, but no, just, I would do it for a friend and, uh, and whatnot, but come on, man, not everyone have the time to spare all the time. I'm gonna leave two message, one for like artists, the other one for the people who are asking for requests, okay? For the artists, if someone asks you, like, can you draw stuff for me for free or do you take requests or whatnot, think about it. Do you need the practice or are you actively asking for requests and stuff? Like if no, if no, don't say yes. Don't say yes. The moment you say yes, you're just like downgrading or like underestimating your own worth because people pay for these kind of stuff. Why should you uh, give it out for free? And the worst part is like, you might think, oh, this is for exposure. Guess what? It's not going to even be exposure. Most of these people, well, no, when I say most of these people, I meant like the people who, who don't really know you that much, like legit came in like the, the stream explorer, like they don't even know you. They don't care about you. They get that request. They won't care. And like that request isn't going anywhere. Like there is an exposure. You're just wasting your time for no reason. So don't. And if you really, really want exposure, why would you ex accept their request? Instead, you should be just putting on Twitter, say, hey, I'm, I'm, ex I'm accepting requests, not like getting asked and like serving them for them only. No, there are much better ways to do it. So please don't do this. And not only that, you doing this will actually fuel those individuals are thinking that they deserve it, which a lot of times they think they deserve it, as in like they're entitled to it, which they're not. And now, uh, to those of you who are looking for requests, please, please, please stop this. Like this behavior is making you look really childish, and it and it really, really does annoy people. Okay, if you're the kind of like the the stream explorer, the stream surfer that only looks for requests, like please don't do this. Like it's really, really dumb. And it's really, really annoying. It's really, really stupid. Please stop. Now, this video might be ending in a really like sour taste in my mouth, but I really want to get this point across because I like recently, like I've been getting this so often. And the thing is like, I'm in university, so I don't really have that amount of time. Heck, I already have enough of, in my hand with calculus and linear algebra, algebra and all those stuff that I really can't spare that much time much less spare your time for your stupidity of drawing yourself for free and have to deal with college sorry university so speaking of university about that uh small update uh video's gonna come out pretty slowly and like not as often and i can't really guarantee uh, them weekly anymore so yeah i don't know what to say about here actually also if you are one of the kind of people who are asking for requests all the time and thinking that you're you deserve it and you all you're also a keyboard warrior feel free down the comment below tell me what you think uh you as well like the artists who worked uh really hard and i know it's pretty, really hard because i know by myself what do you think 
like is this asking is like actively asking requests from people who already have commission open on stupid or what or do you think it's actually worth it or do you think you are actually entitled and how how do you think you're entitled because i really don't know and this is honestly i want to learn i want to know what kind of mindset do people work on when they're assuming that oh i'm hoping they'll say yes i guess that's about it and i guess i'll just end it with my typical ending happy drawing even though there's nothing here that i told taught you in drawing specifically but yeah see you all next time i guess